Hi everyone! Last week we started to build a robotic arm and we already built the axis number 6 and axis number 5. And today of course we are going to continue to build this robotic arm. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And one more thing, I would like to thank you my first Patreon. His name you'll see at the end of this video. If you wanna have your name at the end of my next video, please support me on my Patreon page. Let's get started. This is all the parts that we would need uh, today. This is uh, the part which we built uh, last time and uh, here as you can see I disassembled uh, motors. This is in order to increase the length of the wires of these motors. And uh, today we're gonna build in this part. So this is basically the axis number 4 and axis number 3. And uh, I think the one, uh, the most interesting part here is uh, axis number 4. Why? Because this axis number 4, it actually has a limit. Like you can turn it up to here, now it stops. And afterwards you turn it one turn and almost second turn. So it turns uh, one turn and three quarters, something like this. And uh, how it's done is uh, very interesting. It's done using this strange piece. And this piece goes uh, over here. And you see there is uh, this notch. So when this piece goes here, it can rotate like this or like this. And also inside this piece, which goes like this on the top, there is a notch inside of the, inside here. And so this notch goes like this. And now it can rotate like this is one limit. And afterwards I can rotate it one turn and three quarter. Yes. So the close view. So this is the notch. You see? This piece goes on top and like this it rotates up to here or up to here. And afterwards inside this piece there is a notch also. You see? Over there. And when you put one piece inside of the other like this can rotate to the one side, to the one side of the limit and to the other side of the limit. So you can hardly see inside, but maybe, yeah, this is goes to the one side and afterwards to the other side, somewhere here. You see? And how it, this is how it works. Also to fix uh, this axis inside of this part, I'm going to use these two parts. So there is a small holes here for the nuts, for three nuts. Afterwards this nuts is held by this piece. And afterwards when the nuts inside, I can screw this piece and this one will hold the entire axis like this, inside of this one. This is uh, two axes and uh, this is for the axis number three. So it's basically tube which is uh, inside uh, here and this is a tube which is inside here. And uh, this axis they have this hole is that uh, this hole is to pass the wires inside the axis. There is hole here and there is hole here. And also I have this optional hole from each side in order to fix uh, with the screw the axis inside this piece. So this axis goes here like this. Okay, 
Now on top of it, I should put this uh, pulley. So I will glue it like this. So I just put a couple of droplets of the glue on some uh, places and uh, this should be more than enough. And also at the background you can hear the noise of my printer. And also as I started to glue the pieces I will glue this one. So this is uh, for the axis number two, the pulley for the axis number two. This one. I will glue it here. And again I use just a couple of droplets and that's it. Very nice fit. And this axis is going inside here. And afterwards each of these axes we fix with a screw. One screw here for this one and small screw over here for this axis. With one key I hold the nut inside the tube and with another key I uh, tighten the screw. Like this. And for this axis, to fix this axis I will use tiny M2 screw with a washer of course it's quite complicated but it should be doable after a couple of minutes of struggling I managed to fix uh, to install this screw with a nut inside this tube inside the axis now I need to install these two bearings on each side of this axis like here and here. The best way of doing this is to use vise. Like this you can press them parallel. And now we are ready to install this one here. I need to put the screws first. So this is the screws with the nuts on them, so I put all of them afterwards and sort this piece. And now I need to put this ring which holds uh, the nuts. And uh, now I disassemble the screws. This part is installed with the screws. B ring. And now I fix this part with the three screws. Now it works perfectly. As the next step I need to increase the length of the wires. So I cut it, the original wires and I solder the new long wires on top of it. So this is the new wires. And uh, afterwards, uh, for each wires, I used a uh, heat shrink tube, which I put there. And uh, after I heat shrink all of them. Let's reinstall our motors. So starting with the axis six, I have super long cables now. So the cables comes from this hole. Now I put the motor in and I fix it with the four M2 screws. Afterwards this cables goes inside of this channel. And 
I will fix these cables with a small zip tie over here. Now we will install the motor for the axis number 5, which goes here, here, and the wires of these motors is going into this hole and afterwards it goes through the axis, through the axis 4. So let's install it. So I put the wires, I install the motor, and uh, I fix it with the screws and I tighten it. So the both motor installed, this one. And this one. And you see the wires goes inside, inside the axis and they go, they pass through here. So now uh, this wire goes inside this loop. Now I'm going to fix it with the zip tie. So now the motor uh, for the axis number four, this one, which goes here and there is a hole for the wires here to, pu uh, to put the wires through the axis. And inside this axis it should be wires from three motors, so it should be 12 wires, which is a lot. So this uh, procedure is a little bit tricky. Now when all the wires are passed uh, inside the axis, we can install the pulley on the motor with the belt. Yeah, now I can tighten the motor. I put the screws and uh, also afterwards I tighten uh, the belt and uh, fixed uh, the pulley. Perfect. So, now we have three axes finished. This one, this one, and this one. So this is the motor, you can see. And this is how the wires goes, and they goes through the axis. These two pieces, they go in here and here, but before we need to install the nuts. This one goes here. And this is uh, installed from one side and from another side. And this piece goes here. But before installing this piece, we need to install the belt inside. And in here there is a, uh, here we should put two belt guides. And this is just small bearings, which comes here and here through these holes. Now let's install this guiding bearings. There is nuts which is coming inside these holes. And I installed two bearings for each side spaced with the washers. So here I installed the bearings. You see over here and uh, here and you see that goes a little bit out of this stuff and so when the when the belt inside it, it uh, moves uh, on these brings this is a motor for the axis uh, number three it's an ms17 this is a pulley Let's install it. This motor goes here. So let's uh, start uh, the main assembly. So I installed uh, the motor with uh, just two screws uh, and af afterwards I pushed uh, the belt in and uh, I put uh, the belt uh, on the other pulley. This part is cut it from the carbon fiber or fiber carbon. And it goes here. So this 
So let's try to fix it. First of all, I installed uh, this carbon pot uh, with uh, two screws from the uh, guide and afterwards I put this piece with a couple of screws. So the next we will put the wires and for this we have this piece. This is where the wires go uh, in the axis number two inside this hole and afterwards in this direction yeah so but before these wires should go through this hole actually this is two together So afterwards these wires goes inside this hole, they pass inside this channel and goes here. And afterwards inside this one with these wires. As you see I managed to put all the wires inside, so they are coming out here. And I also should not forget to put uh, the nuts in these uh, holes. And afterwards this piece is goes here like this now it's like real mess from the wires but you see that wires which is coming through this axis goes inside this hole like this this part just uh, goes uh, here inside and afterwards it's gonna be fixed with the screws now just a view from the other side you see all this mess wire mess Now by gently pulling these wires, we're gonna fix this mess and gonna install install other side uh, of this system. And the final screws, and now it holds together. Almost everything is assembled, as you can see. So the wires comes here, and so they goes here inside this channel. Afterwards, you see them over here and through the axis here so now only what is left is to put uh, some uh, screws here here and also to tighten this belt with this motor so let's do this And now the last bit is to tighten this belt. So basically we need to push this motor. I used a screwdriver to push this motor and I fixed uh, the screws. This was complicated, but we managed to assemble this part. So uh, we have the axis number four assembled and axis number three assembled. And the next time we will assemble uh, axis number two and axis number one. But it already looks quite nice. Oh. And you see I corrected for the rest position, so now it perfect. Don't need any more this plastic piece. So here you can see both of them close so this is a new version this is the old version you see there is a holes for the ventilation as we discussed uh, last time and uh, the next time we will continue building this and this but this is going to be in the year 2019 uh, because uh, i have to print a lot of parts uh, and it takes uh, some time thank you very much for watching this video till the end uh, next time we're going to build uh, the two other axes, axis number two and axis number one and uh, this is not gonna be the next video because uh, I have to print a lot of parts and I have to do other stuff so it's gonna be at the beginning of uh, 2019 and also as I told you before uh, big thank you to my first patron here's his name 
It helps a lot when you see that your work is uh, also interesting some other people, uh, even in the way that people is becoming a Patreon. So thank you very much and see you next time.